Guys, welcome back to Gotta Have Toys. Today we're going to do another series on our Bob the Builder video, talking about all of our construction equipment, all the different utens, all the tools that we use when we're building things. We're going to go over these again, and we're going to talk in detail about each one of them. Now, Bob the Builder's not here today, but I know he'll be back soon. That would be his hat right there. His hat. He's actually out right now. But when he gets back, we'll do another show. We've had a lot of feedback from everybody wanting to know a little bit more about our tools. So today we are going to get into detail and talk about each and every one of these awesome, awesome tools and then talk about what they do. So stick around. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we're ready to go. We're going to pick up our first tool and we're going to talk about what we can do with each one of them. This is a socket wrench. Socket wrenches are perfect when you've got certain types of lug nuts that this little octagon shape will actually sit on. So what you do is you take that and you put that right on top of, for instance, one of these. We'll get a smaller one here. Here we go. So this one is a socket that fits right on top of this screw. See, this screw actually can do two different two ways you can tighten it. You can use a Phillips screwdriver on the top, or you can use the socket wrench, and you put it right on top of that one there, and you just turn it around, and you can tighten it no matter where you use it. So let's just let's do an example. Let's show you exactly how this works. See if we can find the right size. Okay, so you have your wood, right? And you drill a hole inside of your wood. Once you've got the hole there, you want to use a screw, and it's got to fit inside there perfectly. So we put that on top, we start it a little bit there with our hands, and you can see it coming through the bottom right there, it's already coming through. Then you take your socket wrench, you put it on top, and you turn that around. And you keep tightening that until it goes all the way down. That's how that works. I won't go all the way with that, it'll take a little too much time, but we'll go ahead and screw it down with our hands so you can see. Once you've used that socket wrench and you tighten that up, it goes all the way through. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. So we've got that. That's our socket wrench, and it's got two sides. And most socket wrenches will have different sizes. One will be a large and one will be a small size. So it'll fit different sizes. Next up, we have, we're have. we going to show you the vise. This is an adjustable vise. See that there? Looks like it's the letter C, right? So this can be clamped to two pieces of wood. So let's say that you've got two pieces of wood and you want to take these two and you want to secure these two pieces of wood, right? So you put them together, put it on top like that. Then you take your vise you put it on top of the wood, just like that, and then you tighten it from the bottom up. So as we, this is a little tricky when I don't have my helper, when Bob the Builder is not here, it's a little tricky, but we tighten it up. Okay, we straighten out the wood, make sure that's, there we go, All right? So you want to keep these two pieces of wood together while you're putting a screw in there, then you use a vise. This is like a clamp, a C-clamp, it's also called. A lot of people call them a different names, but it's a really a vise. You keep twisting this and you tighten that up. See, and that holds those two pieces of wood perfectly together. So then you can drill and put a hole, screws, all, all kinds of good stuff. Then you can loosen it up when you're done, and then you can take the wood apart. So those are called uh, vices or C-clamps. Sometimes people call them C-clamps because, again, they look like the letter C. Very cool, very cool tool. That one's nice. So we also have, we have our Phillips screwdriver, right? One is called Phillips. That's the one that has the four heads, four tips. You see that? So it's got one, two, three, four. It's a Phillips screwdriver, and then we have a flathead. Kind of a funny name, flathead, but it's actually just flat. 
So what we use these for are different types of screws. Some screws, put that down over there, come with the Phillips head. See, we showed this earlier. That's a Phillips head. So we take the Phillips, we put that inside, that fits inside those four sides, and then you can just screw that down. You can screw that right into the wood. See that? Four sides. It's called a Phillips. Fits inside there. Now, sometimes, Certain screws will have a flat head. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So this one has kind of a flat head on the top. If you see that right there, straight across. Okay, so we take our flat head screwdriver, and that goes right on top of that, and then you can screw that into the wood because it has that flat line straight across, and we use a flat head. All right, so that's, a, that's the first couple of, of pieces of equipment that we're going to talk about today. And we're going to do another video, and I'll show you another one in a couple of minutes. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. And uh, remember, Bob the Builder will be back today. I'll have him back here on the show, and we'll do another one. Welcome back to Gotta Have Toys. We're doing our second video on our power tool series. We're doing about three or four different tools each day. And we're going to be talking about all these really cool... Let me show you. Really cool power tools that our Bob the Builder used when we did our other video. He's not here right now, but we're going to have him come back soon. There's his hard hat. You can see right there. He'll be back shortly, and we'll have him do a video with us. My little helper, Marquis. So these are all the really cool tools that we use to build stuff, and we're going to talk about each one of them. So we'll do another three or four tools today, and then we'll do another video to uh, wrap it up and talk about the remaining tools. So we've got stuff like the C-clamp, which we talked about before. We got a flathead screwdrivers. We got pliers, really cool pliers. We got hammers, we got wrenches, and we got screws that have threading. See those little, see those little twists in there? Those are threading. We've got nails and we've got Cool measuring devices, our levels, we have our saw, we have our power drills. We're going to talk about each one of these. Check that out. That's pretty cool. And then we've got our other saws. we got our calipers. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and pick up a couple of them. And we're going to figure out which one each one is. Okay, so this, this is one of the really neat tools in our toolbox. And I say neat because this can adjust. It becomes bigger. Let me show you what I mean. See this little part right here? We actually take that and we move that. And that's going to actually open up our wrench. As we move this, see this begins to open here. And this is an adjustable wrench, it's called. And it's a wrench which can grab on to, let me show you. For instance, we could take one of our screws, right? And if we needed to take it and we needed to wrap this around there, we would open up our adjustable wrench. Let me get that open for you. And we would put that around the screw. Get that open a little bit more and then we could tighten it. See, as we open this up, see how big that gets? See how much more bigger that is? And then that goes around the screw, and then we could screw this right into whatever we're, we're putting it into. If it's like into the wall or a piece of wood. Check that out. That's pretty cool. And then you can adjust it. If you have a smaller screw than this, you can make this even tinier. You just adjust this little dial and it goes right back down. See? Very, very, very fun. And those, that is an, actually an adjustable wrench. All right, so we got that. Now, we have, a lot of you have probably already seen this one. This is the hammer. Very simple device, but it does two different things. Two different things. You could take the front of this, you can take that, 
and you can actually hammer a nail. Let's say you had a piece of wood. This is going to be our wood, right? And you got yourself a nail. Put that in there. Now watch this. Watch it come out through the bottom right here. You see this? Watch that part there. You take your hammer, the flat part on the top, and you... Look at that. You can hammer it right through the wood. How cool is that? But this does two different things. It also, it hammers, but it also uses this side and you can pull the, pull the nail out. How cool is this? Watch. See that? Pulls it right out of the wood. Check that out. That's pretty awesome. And that's what it does. This back side, in the back of the hammer, you actually take it and you put it underneath and you grab the nail and you pop it right out. That's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool stuff. So we have our third item. Let's see. This one here is our, is our screwdriver, our electric drill. Let me put that over there. This one's our electric drill. This one has a little battery pack. See this part right here? This is the battery pack. You take this knob, you open it up, and it slides off, and you charge this part. This part here is the battery, and you can charge it. And when you're ready to go back on there, you slide it on, and you're ready to go. And all you got to do on that one, let me just get that adjusted. All you do on that one is you, you hold it with the handle, and you pull that. And you can drill. Listen to this. And that drills your screws right into the wall or wherever you may be putting them. Pretty neat, huh? And these are the type of tools that Bob the Builder uses when he builds all of his houses. When you see him on the cartoons, these are all the things that he uses to make it happen. Well, thanks for watching today. We're going to do uh, another video and explain a few more, like our other wrench here, and a few more drills and our other saws. So if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our station. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to Garage Toys. Today we're going to play with our Black & Decker toy set. We got Marquis. Say hi, Marquis. Hi. Okay. Marquis is here. We're going to play with our Black & Decker toy set. We just got a very cool gift from somebody. So we're going to show them each piece. What do we have here? We have the drill. No. Yeah, the drill. Show them how that works. Press this button in the back. Yep. Right here. Press it. Let's see how it works. Cool. Just hold it sideways so it everybody can see it. It goes around. Yeah, that's cool. That's actually a drill. This thing will drill. You hold it this way. Show them that way. It's a very, very cool. It's almost very realistic. Okay, so the next thing we got, we're going to show them. Let's put this on this side. We have our saw. It's not a real saw, but it looks like a real saw. Right, Marks? Yeah. See? So we got this saw here. We're going to show you how that works. We have a very cool... Hey, hey, yes. Get this log, guys. And we... Exactly. We can cut the wood with it. And then there's another yes. saw. There's two saws. Yes, we do have two saws. Show them how that works. It goes inside there. Yeah. Put it inside the slot there. Does it fit? No? Okay. We've got our Phillips screwdriver with our Phillips head tip there. We have also the matching flathead screwdriver. We're learning about different different tools today. Marquis, can you take that, buddy? Show them how we how that works oh, with the Phillips. Two of them. Yeah, we have two of them. Show them how that works in, in, with the um, the screws here, the black screws. Now we have our wood, right? So we have our Phillips screw top. So what we do is we put our Phillips inside Marky's doing his, and I'm going to do mine. And then we can just turn these down. These are very, very realistic, I'll very cool toys. I'll put mine up so I can start all over again for you guys to see. Okay. Why don't you start on that, and then, then we'll do that again for everybody to see. Exactly. So see, we tighten up the screw, and that's with the Phillips screwdriver. And you can screw these down. I can't. I Careful, can't, buddy. I don't want to do that. You don't want that anymore. All right. You got it. 
try to keep on. All right. We can go ahead and work on those screw, screws back there, buddy, so we can show them how that works. And this one unscrews. Very, very cool. Very realistic. In our piece of wood. It's actually plastic, but it looks like wood. And then we've got our ratchet, our socket wrench, again, by Black & Decker. This is a very cool set. It's very. This is a lot of fun for little boys because it introduces them to um, different tools and sets that they're going to use as they get older. So we have two different types of ends here. And we can take those. Let's see. And we can put these... We'll find the right size we've got. One got loose. Too. There we go. Cool. Here it is. Sorry about that. So we have this very cool set here with these wrenches, which go onto the screw, and you can turn it around, tightening up the screw with the wrench. The socket wrench. Give me that. Yep. Here, show them how you do that with the wrench, buddy. Here, put that on that end. Then we have our clamp. This is our wood clamp. And this can be loosened and tightened. So if you had two pieces of wood and you wanted to tighten them together, you can do this. Right? We put the two pieces of wood together. And we put our clamp on the wood and then we tighten them up. We make it nice and tight. And that holds the two pieces of wood together. Hold on, hold on, buddy, hold on one second, sweetie. Let me tighten it up really quick. So we tighten it like this. So those two pieces of wood, they stay together. You see marks? Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? And then we've got, let's check and see what else we have. We have our little pegs. Can I see that wood piece there, buddy? So I can show them our hammer. Then you have your hammer, which is plastic, yeah. but it's Black & Decker hammer. And we show you how to use a hammer on this one. Let me have that one piece right there, Papa. Right there. This one right. Perfect. So they have our nails. We're going to pop these out. Let me pull these out really quick. So what else are you going to play with, buddy? Are you going to use that saw? Huh? you going to use that saw? Okay. There you go. Cut I some saw my face off. No, let's not saw your face off. You're not going to saw it. Stop. Don't be silly, you. Okay. Mm. So we have our, our wood, right? So watch, Marquis. So we have our nails. So we want to use our hammer to knock our nails in. Not with the saw, you. Stop it. <laughs> so we bang them really hard and we get the nails in. Pretty cool. So that's our that's our hammer and nails. So Marquis, what else we want to show everybody at home? We showed we already did the screwdriver, right? We did the flathead. We gotta show them the flathead. Let's show them really quick how our, the flathead works the same as the Phillips. You can put that in there and you can actually turn and screw in your screw. This the same way. And that's the flathead screwdriver. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little episode. Marquis, you want to say bye to everybody and then we're gonna do another do another video real quick? Yeah. Bye. We'll talk at you guys later. And and remember to subscribe to our channel. We got a lot of fun activities and fun videos that we're gonna be putting up on our gotta have toys site. Bye, guys. Say bye, Marks. Bye. Bye.